Hi, welcome to Amazon Developer Video Tutorials. I'm Moses, and today we'll be talking about how to invite new users to your Amazon Developer account and the various roles and permissions you can assign to them. So to get started, the first thing you want to do is go to Settings and then User Permissions. Now, if you can't see this tab, it's probably because you don't have administrator level permissions. We'll get into what that means in a minute, but just know that if you can't access this page, you'll probably need to reach out to the administrator of your account for assistance. The next thing we're gonna do is add a new user to the account. So first click the add new button and then enter the email address of the new user you're adding to the account and then choose a role for them. There's developer, administrator, marketer, and analyst, and each of those comes with a different level of permissions. The first role we'll discuss is the administrator, which is the simplest one. It has full access to the account. So if you're the owner of the account and you add another administrator, keep in mind that they'll have as much access as you do. The only difference between the owner account and regular administrators is that the owner account cannot be removed from the developer account, whereas regular administrators can be. This is the only role that can access the user permissions tab that we've been discussing and add and delete users. The other three roles have much more limited permissions than the administrator role. So next we'll talk about the marketer role. The marketer role can edit the metadata. So that's all the information associated with the app aside from the APK or app files. That includes the general information, the availability and pricing, the description, the images and multimedia, and finally the content rating. They can create and submit IAP items. IAP stands for in-app purchasing, which allows customers to purchase digital content and subscriptions within your app. And finally, they can access the sales reports in the reporting tab. Those are the reports that tell you how many purchases or unique downloads your app has received. Next is the analyst, which like the marketer has access to the sales reports, but unlike the marketer cannot edit apps or IAP. And finally, we have the developer role, which can edit the general information tab and also the APK files tab, also known as the app files tab if you're developing a web app. So they'll be able to upload the actual app file to our developer portal and also provide testing instructions or login information for our testers. Keep in mind that you can also combine roles. So for example, you could make somebody a developer, marketer, and analyst. Once you've decided which role to give your new user, you can check that box, click Save, and this will send an invite to them. They should receive an email titled Amazon Developer Program Invitation with a link that they can click to accept that invitation. This will take them to the sign-in page where they can enter their password if they already have an Amazon account associated with this email address. On the other hand, if they don't already have an Amazon account associated with this email address, they will need to click the gray Create Your Amazon Developer Account button and create a password. Once they've completed this, they should be able to log into the Amazon Developer account in their new user role. And as the administrator, you should be able to confirm they've been successfully added by checking the User Permissions tab within your account. Check out the article on how to manage your Amazon Developer account and permissions for more information, and use the Contact Us form if you have any additional questions. Thank you for watching.